Hello, everyone, and welcome to our awards program for 2021. We are the American Mental Health Counselors Association. We are the only organization exclusively representing clinical mental health counselors in the US. Again, welcome to our awards and special recognition program for 2021. I am Beverly Smith, the president and interim CEO for the American Mental Health Counselors Association, affectionately known as AMCA. So we're gonna get started and introduce and help us celebrate our award recipients for this year. So first up, we have Representative Dave Belton. He is the Legislative of the Year for AMCA. Congratulations, Representative Dave Belton. Just to tell you a little bit about who he is. We want to thank him, first of all, for being the sponsor for the Professional Counseling Compact in Georgia, House Bill 395. This was the first time this legislation passed in the US. To tell you a little bit more about this gentleman, representative, politician, he has 23 years, retired military veteran. He's a pilot for the Navy, Air Force, and he has flown during five conflicts. He has been a captain for International Airline. Again, we want to congratulate and thank Representative Dave Belton for being our Legislative of the Year. And thank you so much for your support and your dedication for ensuring and working very hard so that individuals will have access to quality mental health care. Congratulations. And at this time, we'll give Representative Dave Belton a few minutes to speak. Well, thank you so very much. I really appreciate that. Um, I love what counselors do. My sister is a counselor, works down in Charleston, South Carolina, uh, Lisa Van Bergen, hope she's watching today. And I want you to know how much I appreciate what the counselors do for the militaries. You know, military, we do a lot of awesome things, but there's a lot of things we do, they're, they're not awesome. And uh, a lot of times we need to talk to people like counselors. And uh, I've been to a counselor myself, you know, at times, and my wife and I have been at times, we're still married 35 years later. and. Uh, I think it's so important uh, what y'all do and I, I, anything I can do to help you, I, I'm so honored to, to do so. So thank you so much for the award. Thank you again, Representative Dave Belton. He's in Georgia, District 112, and he has done great things in the state of Georgia and representing Georgia very well. So thank you so much. And thank you for working on behalf of counselors in the state of Georgia. Thank you, it's my pleasure. Thank you and congratulations. We also want to recognize an outstanding chapter of the year of AMCA, LPCA of Georgia, Licensed Professional Counselor Association of Georgia. They are the outstanding chapter of the year for the American Mental Health Counselor Association. They have done some phenomenal things throughout the year. And here to accept the award is the president, Angela Feaster, Byron Stevens, president-elect, Tim Robinson, immediate past president, Julianne McComb, lobbyist, and Gail Mackey, staff, also as we know her best as executive director. And so again, LPCA of Georgia, they have received the Outstanding Chapter Award of the Year. And you may ask why have they received that award? Well, like I said, they have done some phenomenal work in the state of Georgia. We mentioned that Representative Dave Belton was a, co was a sponsor for the bill of the compact being passed in Georgia. But LPCA of Georgia, they were very instrumental in the passage of the first counseling compact in the United States. They are a professional organization that lobbies for counselors, provide excellent opportunities for education, they support counselors, and they have developed a supervision program, credentialing program for counselors to be credentialed for supervision in the state of Georgia. Again, we present to you the outstanding chapter of the year for the American Mental Health Counselors Association, LPCA of Georgia. And so we have some representatives here who will uh, speak at this time, say a word of two. We have Gail Mackey who's with us. We have the president, Angela Feaster, who's with us. Thank you, Dr. Smith. On behalf of LPCA of Georgia, um, first I'd like to recognize Representative Belton for supporting us on HB 395 and all of his tireless efforts in doing that over the last year. I also wanna recognize um, our lobbyist, Ms. Juliana, 
for her tireless efforts as well as um, being an advocate for our profession day in and day out and making sure we get to the um, the meetings that we need to be at in order to advocate for our members as part of LPCA. Um, and also our current board that we have, we have a very active, passionate board right now. So I see great things in the upcoming year um, as we go into the next calendar year and continue to pursue growing the professional compact as well as our credentialing um, certification. So again, thank you so much for this honor. Thank you so much for your leadership and all that you are doing in LPC of Georgia. Um, LPC of Georgia is a chapter, state chapter of the American Mental Health Counselor Association. It is a huge chapter. I think you're ranging around 6,600 plus at this time. So thank you for your leadership. Thank you for all the work. And thank you for being the pioneer and being the first state chapter in the United States of America, right? To have the legislative pass through for the Professional Counseling Compact. That is such an honor. Yes, it Thank is. You Thank so you much. so much. Thank you. And at this time, we would like to recognize the individual for the Public and Community Service Award, Diana and Zal Du. Diana and Dal Du, she's a founder and president of Contigo Wellness Foundation. She's increased the awareness of BIPOC um, needs through her foundation. And this is what's really critical and was important to note for her. She has helped over 70,000 families to receive goods and services. So congratulations, Diana, for receiving the Public and Community Service Awards. I think she is on and she can take herself off of mute and say a word or two at this time if she would like. Hello, yes, thank you so much. Um, it's so great to be here. Sorry, I'm trying to get my computer, my camera on. Yeah, um, I just wanted to say thank you so much. And if you all can see this lovely award, it is here, it's beautiful. I appreciate the honor. Um, thank you so much for the recognition. Thank you and congratulations. Please keep doing all the work. When I read her application that she has helped over 70,000 families, communities in her community to receive goods and services in such a time of need during the COVID-19. That is really huge. And that speaks to your level of commitment to public service and to what we do is to advocate in providing mental health care services. So thank you so much for your service. Congratulations. At this time, we would like to recognize and honor the Researcher of the Year, Dr. Claudia Carter Marshall. She is a professor at Albany State University here in Georgia. And her research centers around the topic of the missing components in multicultural competency in training among counselor trainers. She is the co-author and book contributors um, for several books. She is a mentor. She is a public servant, but also she's a clinical mental health counselor providing service in the state of Georgia and to the American Mental Health Counseling Association. She does not hesitate to present, to speak, and to enlighten the counseling profession as well as others. So at this time, I present to you our award recipient as the researcher of the year, Dr. Claudia. You can take yourself off of mute at this time and you're welcome to say a few words. Thank you so much, Dr. Smith, and to the AMCA team for this recognition. You know, it is important as counselors and counselor educators that we continue to develop this research identity to help our future counselors, which are our counselor trainees, to understand that, you know, as our population continues to diversify as it relates to culture, race, you know, different ways in which they can go into the field practicing cultural humility and having those skills that are necessary to mitigate some of the different barriers that the clients that they will be serving are facing. So I really appreciate this honor. I thank you all for everything that you all do for the profession and just the information. I've been really enjoying the fall summit. So I thank you again and have a good one. 
Thank you. Dr. Uh, Claudia mentioned our fall summit. We are in the midst of our fall summit. We're wrapping up our fall summit on tomorrow. It has been a phenomenal experience and she has been one of our presenters. And we've had presenters who talk about issues related to parenting, homeschooling, doing COVID-19, trauma, supervision, ethics. We've had an array of topics that all come together to help train and enlighten um, and to help develop our clinicians. So thank you for being a presenter. And again, congratulations, Dr. Claudia, for being our researcher of the year. Congratulations. At this time, I am honored as to present Eve Rogerson, as I'm honored to present all the recipients. But Eve Rogerson cannot be with us because she is working hard in her private practice but she has received the Emerging Professional of the Year Award. Eve was our chair last year for the Emerging Professionals. She was always eager, energetic, involved, and serving to help elevate Anka. And for that, we say thank you. She could not be with us, but she did send a message that she would like for me to share with you. And this is from Eve. I'm honored to be the 2021 Anka Emerging Professional of the Year Award. Honored to receive it. It has been a privilege and a joy to serve as chair of the Emerging Professional Committee and now to continue my involvement with OPTA as a committee member with the Emerging Professionals and with the Multicultural and Social Justice Committee. I'm grateful for all the opportunities and the connections I've experienced from being part of OPTA. And she looks forward to working continuously and serve in the upcoming months and in the upcoming years. Thank you so much, signed Eva Rogerson. Again, congratulations, Eva. We are proud of you and thank you for your service. She's working and she cannot be here. So we see her dedication is still there. So join me in congratulating Eva, congratulations. Our next award recipient, is Dr. Michelle Crosley. She is receiving the Counselor Educator of the Year Award. She's the owner of a mental health counseling agency called Michelle Crosley Counseling. She is a assistant professor at Rhode Island College. She plays an integral role in helping her graduate students be successful and in their professional development. Dr. Michelle has provided verbal and written testimony in support of Senate Bill 591 in Rhode Island to recognize the lack of mental health parity in insurance for mental health practitioners. So at this time, I present and congratulate Dr. Michelle Crosley for being the counselor of the year for the American Mental Health Counselor Association. Dr. Crosley. Thank you so much, Dr. Smith and AMCA um, Award Selection Committee. Um, I'm grateful for the opportunity to be here and to not only represent my small state of Rhode Island, but also to represent um, the wonderful students that I've had the opportunity to work with. Um, I'm very passionate about my role as a counselor educator and recognize that what we do in the classroom helps formulate um, priorities around advocacy and um, wellness and training and development. Um, and I always highlight the fact that my students one day become my colleagues and peers, and therefore I appreciate the relationships that I've built and developed with them along the way. So thank you so much. I'm grateful and honored for this award. Congratulations. And I like what she said, Dr. Michelle said, you know, her students will become her colleagues one day. And so I remember when I was a graduate student at Amherst University, my professors would say, we are colleagues. So we're gonna work as colleagues and learn together. And so I'm a adjunct professor at Mercer University and I do just the same with my graduate students. So again, congratulations, Dr. Michelle. Thank you for carrying the torch and congratulations. At this time, we want to give special acknowledgement to Angel Moss Baker. She was our past president. She served us well, led us well. And so we want to pause to say thank you formally. We appreciate all that you did as our president, 
for the 2019-20 uh, year. We do appreciate all that you did. And I know that she has been working tirelessly and was running, trying to get on, and I hope that she made it here. And Jill, are you here? Would you like to say a few words? I am, I am, and thank oh, you wonderful. so much. Yeah, I, I darted through traffic. <laughs> Well, I just want to say, uh, you know, thank you uh, for uh, re uh, recognizing me with the uh, Past President Award. Here we go. <laughs> and, um, you know, and I'm, I'm really honored to uh, receive this. I got to say that uh, my experience with AMCA uh, uh, during the past three years has definitely strengthened my leadership skills. And, you know, I've just learned so much. So, um, in recognition of, um, you, you know, you guys recognizing me for the work that I've done. I really appreciate it and uh, will continue to support ARMCA. Thank you. Thank you. And we know that you're not going far. We hope that you do not go far. I know that you've served three years, but we still have some more plans for you with ARMCA, okay? So hang around. <laughs> Just say, oh, yeah, we haven't talked about that yet, but we have a few more plans for you, okay? <laughs> Congratulations again um, to Angel Moss Baker. And we did recognize her in the, in the spring and the summer from the board of directors, but we wanted to do it live and say thank you publicly for your work and for your service. And we look forward to your continued service with the American Mental Health Counselors Association. Thank you, Angel. And at this time, we would like to award the Outstanding Contributor to the Advocate Award to Joel Miller. If you know Joel, you know he serves tirelessly. He submitted and published countless articles for the Advocate. And not only did he do that, he has served as UNCA's Executive Director for the past eight years and you've kept it all running and moving forward. And for that, Joel, we say thank you so much. And again, join us in recognizing and congratulating Joel Miller for the outstanding contributor to The Advocate for his countless and numerous articles that he published. Joel? Well, thank you, Beverly, for those very kind comments. And, and thank you and, and, and Rebecca for uh, organizing this really wonderful kind of panel presentation uh, event, really appreciate it. And uh, congratulations to all of the awardees uh, uh, on the call here today and all of your important, incredibly important contributions uh, to have to really appreciate it. And really wanted to say, you know, thank you for this really a, this splendid award, you know, that I'm holding up. It's really uh, uh, a beautiful, opulent uh, award statuette. So I really appreciate it as an outstanding contributor to the advocate. I uh, I appreciate the, the recognition, and uh, uh, I am really honored, you know, to receive this award. I feel very fortunate uh, uh, when I was serving as executive director to have the you know, the privilege to contribute, you know, uh, columns and articles to the advocate. It was a, uh, a great joy for me personally and professionally to write for the magazine as the, as the advocate is really a, a key communication device, you know, to talk to AMCA members and the magazine provides such, you know, valuable content. And so I, I am really deeply appreciative of everybody over the years who have made such wonderful contributions to the advocate uh, on so many different issues and subjects that do address the needs of the members and, and promote their interests. And, and finally, I just want to take an opportunity to thank, you know, Whitney Meyerhofer and Kathleen McCarthy for all the great work they do behind the scenes, uh, you know, uh, to put the magazine together uh, on so many levels, you know, in terms of the editing and publishing that goes into the advocate and, and thanks to Aaron Norton for all his contributions, uh, you know, as a contributing editor to the magazine. So again, many thanks uh, for this really splendid award. I appreciate it very much. Thank you, Joel. As you all can see, Joel is so diplomatic and so gracious 
and recognizing everyone. And so you see why he was the leader. And so we say thank you for your leadership and thank you for being an outstanding contributor for the advocate and ensuring that it was published. And like I said, he mentioned some great people, Aaron Norton, Kathleen and Whitney, they are excellent individuals, just phenomenal professionals. And they make sure that the advocate goes forth. So special thanks goes out to Aaron Norton for being a contributing, uh, for being an editor, as well as Angels, a new member on board editing the advocate and special thanks to Kathleen McCarthy. They are doing excellent work. Thank you all. And congratulations, Joel Miller. Congratulations. At this time, I want to recognize and bestow the honor of the President's Award to Brandon Johnson. Brandon Johnson is a public health advisor with SAMHSA. He's also a co-lead of Faith Community Task Force, National Action for Suicide Prevention. He's also well known for the Black Mental Wellness Lounge, a Black mental health and suicide prevention. In the fall of 2021, he was recognized in the John Hopkins Magazine for his work in creating safe places for Black mental health. At this time, I present to you, Mr. Brendan Johnson, President's Award for 2021, Mr. Johnson. Hey, Dr. Smith, um, thank you so much um, for this. This um, means a ton for, for me and the, and the work that I do. Um, <clears throat> a lot of my work is centered in Black mental health and um, suicide prevention for Black youth and something that I'm very, very, very passionate about um, and have been able to do um, at the state and at the federal level. And so it's, um, definitely an honor to to get this and that um you know you all were able to recognize that and so i um appreciate your support um i appreciate you all allowing me to keynote the fall summit um particularly around uh black mental health and, and being able to highlight that issue one that's changing um rapidly every every day um i appreciate that i thank you for your support this is an honor um literally tomorrow we move into our new home, my family and I, and so I have a new bookshelf to put up and this is going to go right on that. So I appreciate that um, so much. Um, and so again, thank you. Thank you. And again, thank you for being our keynoter for our fall summit as he talked about um, suicide prevention and black mental health and wellness. It was an excellent presentation. It was an excellent keynote. And we'll continue to build upon presentations in reference to suicide prevention in the upcoming months. This was just the beginning. And so thank you for representing us well at the fall summit um, in reference to mental health care and suicide prevention. And you represented Samson very well. Thank you so much. And congratulations, Mr. Brandon Johnson, President Award for 2021. Congratulations. And we want to recognize Dr. Keith Kosterman, Clinical Mental Health Counselor of the Year. This is an indeed a high honor, and we are ecstatic to bestow this honor and present this award to Dr. Keith. Dr. Keith is in the New York area. He has a PhD in counselor education from the University of Buffalo. He has numerous credentials, and when I looked at his credentials, I, I got tickled because I love uh, being a scholar myself and earning credentials, but he's a licensed mental health counselor, a licensed marriage and family therapist, a national certified counselor, lead and master trainer, behavior couples therapy for substance abuse, certified family therapist, diplomat and clinical mental health specialty, specialist. That is an interesting credential because that is one that AMCA offers. So he's received that high honor. He's a diplomat and clinical mental health counseling specialist in military counseling, as well as couples and family counseling. And those are OMCA credentials that we encourage all to apply for by going simply on our website. He has other credentials in child and adolescent, as well as in forensic counseling. He's a certified parent coach. He has worked in clinical appointments such as director of education and competence. 
He, his Vita is extensive and it is long, but for this time, we are recognizing him for the Clinical Mental Health Counselor of the Year Award, Dr. Keith Kosterman. Congratulations, Dr. Thank you, Keith. Thank you, Dr. Smith. You're very kind. Um, I am so grateful to be the recipient of this award. I know there's a lot of incredibly talented counselors out there doing phenomenal work. So to receive this award is truly humbling and I am honored. So thank you. Thank you. And congratulations to you again. As Dr. Keith said, we have a phenomenal group of colleagues we work with across the country. We have stellar practitioners, therapists, clinical mental health providers. We have outstanding chapters doing excellent work throughout the country. And so we thank all of them, all of the participants, all of the members and state chapters for all of your work this past year. We want to give a special congratulations to those who received the awards this year. Was not an easy selection, but again, congratulations to each of you. As we begin to close our awards program for 2021, we want to draw your attention to just a general announcement. We will have an UMCA Town Hall meeting on next Wednesday at 7 p.m., which is November the 10th, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We will be talking about the counseling compact and legislative updates. Registration is required, and we will post that link. And if you're on our membership portal, please um, click register and attend, and you'll see more information pushed out uh, from Whitney on tomorrow via our email and newsletter blast. But our town hall on the Council Compact is next Wednesday, and this is an important town hall, not just for us, but important to all of those who are members and those who are not members of AMCA who are interested in the Counseling Compact. As we stated earlier, and thanks to Representative Dave Belton and thanks to um, the LPC of Georgia for all their work in the first, first to pass legislation in the United States. But we wanna share with other states, members, clinicians, how did Georgia do it? Utah is in the process, Maine is in the process, as well as other states are looking. But we wanna encourage other states to participate and help get the legislative legislation passed. And so we're providing a town hall that will provide instruction, that will provide a round table and a Q&A to allow you to feel comfortable and at ease in helping this legislation get passed within your state. We have some special guests who will be with us for our town hall. We have Dan Laxon. He will be sharing about the compact, giving an overview. And he was very critical um, in getting this pulled together from the governmental agency of counseling compacts of compacts. So we want to thank Dan in advance. We will also have Kevin Doyle as a special guest with us on next Wednesday. And Kevin Doyle is with the American Association of State Counseling Boards, and he will be participating in our round table. We have had other individuals who will be participating, Jerry Stevenson, Gray Otis. And we will also have some emerging professionals who will be participating as well. So look forward to seeing some past presence and faces that you know, but most importantly, look forward to hearing about how we can advance the counseling agenda and get the counseling compact passed. Again, I want to thank all of the award recipients. You have done outstanding work and it was our honor, it was Anka's honor to recognize you today for all of your service, your dedication and your diligence to the counseling profession. So again, congratulations and thank you for allowing us to celebrate you today. On behalf of the Board of Directors, congratulations.